influencing me to rap I don't know it's just a feeling like if you feel something in yourself your your form of expression everybody has a way of expressing different things so my way of expression as showing that I'm passionate about something is by doing music like other people have other means of showing what they're interested in or their passion it's like a second nature for me to do music like anytime I listen to music I feel like yeah like this is what I want to be music how do I feel after a hard day's graph menage to our three ways to make large paper say even while under surveillance CCTV your monitors without avoiding the topic of meeting up with the coroner my debut album is called In the Name of Reps which is a continuation from Revelations I'll break down Revelations quickly. Revelations, the book of Revelations in the Bible is the last book. So I see Revelations as being like the end of the beginning for me. Changed it. My name is Repertoire. You didn't know. I changed Repertoire. I put that in Rep Revelations, Revelations. My revelation of what I've seen so far is the beginning. Like that could be a debut album in a sense. Revelations could be a debut album, but I don't want to call it that. In the name of Reps is the start. That's the end of the beginning, this is the start of the end. All I hear is whispers. And if I ever needed to prove it, the spoke person never listened. Pay my respect, here's my sincere condolences. Alright, Take a hold of the situation without ever having control. I have a weird recording process. And I can't okay, I have a weird I have a weird writing process that I'm not gonna say. My recording process nowadays is I don't like to read off anything purely because if you're reading off a piece of paper it's not the same as it just it doesn't flow naturally you have to focus on what you're reading if you're reading your lyrics you can't really get the like i don't know how to explain it but if you freestyle it's more just running off it's whatever comes to you and how you want it to come across is just how it is straight away so I would, i'd rather do that nowadays i could wake up in a bad mood and that's my way of getting my bad mood out by recording if something has annoyed me the night before, I'm going to wake up like, nah, I'm annoyed. I'm going to record straight away. If I'm upset about something, or for example, I'll give you a prime example that I don't tell people. If a girl has pissed me off, she's getting a diss track written that same day. I'm going to be texting her and writing a diss track in my head. And I'm going to record that the same day. That's just my mood. Like That's my mind state. I feel like anything you do in life, somebody's already done it. So you have to find a way of doing it differently so i could listen to five artists and pick out little aspects of them and make it into one sound but you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know where my inspiration to make a song comes i feel at home we got kibosi at the back as well hennessy's still there wreck up uh. i think i need to change my delivery a bit you know you didn't quite catch on to how i did it the last time man. well my name's Pastor Malcolm Reps and this is my job. This is Revelation. I went from council estates to penthouses, brown paper. How did how did the Semtex track happen for one extra? Screw Fizz attacked him in a video. He asked me to send it to him. Long story short, I sent a few messages, didn't really hear anything back and then I found out he had passed all my music to someone else and they had contacted me and I said, oh, how did you hear about me? It's like Semtex. I was like, okay. And I met Semtex and I said, yeah, this guy told me, etc. And he's like, send me some tracks. That was on a Thursday. The next day, I was sitting and I was just chilling with my friends and I got some tweets like, oh, I just, hear, I just heard you on one extra. I was like, damn, like, so that's what that happened, really. I feel like everybody should have something up their sleeves. I got many sleeves. You're rolling. Uh, uh, I take a stroll down Oxford Circus. My people on the estate have got blocks to purchase. Uh, they carry that shit in the suitcase. They drop a couple pounds and then they move weight. I'm trying to get the ace of spades and the douce. Mix it with some lemonade and make it fruity. Uh, if your chick's got the boot, eh, I call it up. She's got to give it all to us. I tip, hop on the train, go to the northbound. When I arrive, tell them bitches to bring them all out. F for president, my nigga, I want the queen's head. Uh, give me the loot, you little lead, yet. I give number two to these gats. They ain't get shit from me. I pipe once and then I raise them for my history. And then I spray up in the mouth and give her Listerine, bitch. Let me tell you about legacy. 
anybody who's watching this, if you die, if you if someone told you you're gonna die in a week, how would you wanna be remembered? Because when I die, I want people to remember me for being a musician. The most important thing in life is to be happy. If you're not happy with what you do, why are you doing it? Because you shouldn't do anything your heart isn't in. You should never go about doing stuff in a half-hearted manner. You should be like, okay, I do this because I love doing it. I'm passionate about it. This is what I'm going to do.